Hi everybody, this is an instructional video for the time and attendance program that I'm fixing to list just as soon as I get it done uh, on iTunes, but I wanted to do this first. Anyway, um, I'm going to stop this and I'm going to show you the iPad. It is a universal app. It will go for both iPhone and iPad. I do think it looks better on the iPhone rather than the iPad, but we want it universal because not everyone's got an iPhone. Or you can run on iPod also as long as you've got, you know, can download it. Anyway, so is it going to run for me? If this is my, I'm running this on my Mac Mini and it's kind of slow. And so. So you can see that it will run on the iPad, and I did make separate views. They they do look better on the iPhone, but they're okay. So anyway, let's stop this and put it on iPhone and start it over again. Oh, let's we're gonna um, whenever you start it fresh, it's gonna create a brand new employee for you called 001 and um, you don't have to use it but I wanted I did not want an empty uh, slate there so I created one and so you can rename it you can use it if you want you can use characters um, you can use anything you want I mean I just did that because I wanted to I'm going to delete this off the device so that you guys can see how it goes from scratch Let's run it again. Then I'll put it, minimize this. Well, anyway, it doesn't matter if it's showing. Anyway, so first thing you do, it creates that one employee, and we can change it. And if you don't want to use 001, you go to employee maintenance, and you change it. And let's say that uh, I'm going to make, I'm going to pull this from, I would pull it from my contacts, but I don't think I have any contacts here on this simulator, so we're just going to type my name in, okay? Alrighty, and so we're going to take a picture. I did load one picture on the simulator, and if you had a camera, this is an old picture, but it was something I could find, and so I, I put it on there. And But if you have a camera, you can take a picture. And so when we're done, you just click done, and you can add employees. Like if I type 001 again, it's going to give me an error, eventually. Uh, but I can type a second one, and it will let me do it. So we'll say done, but we're going to use 001 since that's what I put a picture on. So the first time for the week for a it's going to have a different button. So I'm going to press this, and if you was clocking in, you would press this, and the first record is created. Okay? So now if I wanted to, now it knows that I've already got one, so I can change it, and I can say I'm going out if I want to. So let's go ahead and clock me out. And so there we go. And let's see, we've already looked at employee maintenance. Let's look at the special time. Let's say that you want to enter some holiday time. Um, I'm going to have some say that Monday's a holiday or whatever. We'll say I'm going to be sick Monday. And so those are sick hours, and it's going to be eight hours. And um, I can change employees if I want to. Um, we'll do the other employee. And it's going to press. And it creates me two records, an in record and an out record. Although it did today, I forgot to change the date. But we can pull those up and edit them, okay? So let's go back to um, uh, the employee maintenance. And we're going to go to this record. Cindy, we'll go ahead and pull my picture up again, just so it'll have there. And we're going to say hours. And it pulls up this week. It's got eight hours because that's what I just got through creating. And then it breaks down the days. And so let's take this for Monday. Sunday, Monday. We'll leave it at 18. And yes, completed. No. So when I change it, it's going to take this to the next week. So you're going to see there's less records there because it knows. And we're going to change this one to 
Monday too. Sunday, Monday. Okay. Now then, there's 90 hours now. So we'll say done. And now it says week 11 for next week. So, and so it, it calculates your week number based on the date that you give it. And the weeks start at 2013 since that's when I created it. There's no sense in starting at 2000 because the app wasn't available then. What else do we need? I do have help screens. You know, it gives you some instructions. And like employee maintenance help a little bit. And adjust hours. A little bit help there. I kind of had to keep it uh, not a whole lot because it had to fill up the smallest uh, screen that they had. Let's see what else have we got. Um, oh, let's say we driving directions. I don't know if anyone would ever actually need those or not, but we'll see. So we go to the more from there, then you can click in the address or whatever. And um, this is, I think that's. Um, Now, if you pull up from the contacts, it will fill this up. And, and I default everything to USA and spaces. And um, you probably could do it for a different country. I can't test it. it. Anytime I put in a different country, it says it won't do it because I'm in the United States. But you probably could. So, and, and click the button and then I can get directions. And... Um, it's kind of slow, but it's coming. And I think since I'm on the simulator, it's going to go from Sacramento, California. But I know some of my other apps, like um, I'll, lay, I'll sit and I'll, wherever I am here at home, and I'll do it for my address, and I'll say like one minute. So it goes by your current location to the address that you enter. And it does have, if you have notes or something in there, it will um, break out. So I default all the addresses to spaces because Apple will reject an app if it breaks out or anything, and I don't want that. So, and another thing I've noticed is after you, it kind of sticks there. There are directions. I've not found a back error, but when you pull it back up, then you can go back. So I think we've covered about everything. And uh, I think everyone can use this. Hourly employees, salary employees, if you want to calculate your actual time at work, if you're a volunteer, if you're a stay-at-home parent, um, just whatever. If you want to count time, count hours, keep track of your babysitter's hours, keep track of just anything. If, let's say that you've got two jobs. Like, for instance, my daughter, she's got two jobs. She works at Hobby Lobby, and then she works at Chico's, and then she's a mom. Well, she could have her multiple uh, employee numbers to set up. And anyway, uh, I think everyone can use this. And uh, I'm going to try to finish this up and get it listed. So uh, if you're listening to this today, today is, um, uh, I think it's March 8th. Hopefully, if I don't get rejected, it'll be ready in a week. If I do re get rejected, I'll have to fix the problems, and it'll be a couple of weeks. So, anyway, so enjoy, everyone. Bye.